Hey, what's going on guys? It's your brother L, Hell Excels, Excels the game, Excels my name, and make sure you guys go ahead and excel today. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Because guys, in this video, I'm gonna break down my strategy on what I do to be successful, to get girls to, to like me. And this could involve you just going out to, you know, a Saturday night, or you can play this long term. Like maybe you go to the gym and you see that cute girl, but you, you don't know if she's interested in you. Well, guys, I'm going to give you like the right idea and the right kind of notions on what you should be looking for and what you should be doing in the first place and why you should be approaching the dating game like this. Okay, guys, because most guys, what do our parents tell us? They tell us, hey, you got to go out and you got to, you know, if you like the girl, let her know. Just tell her, hey, I like you. I think you're pretty. You're cute. Would you like to go out with me? Like, no, Gr girls don't want to do that nowadays. Okay, girls actually chase guys nowadays. Let's let's be honest here. They're chasing winners. They're chasing the most valuable guy. They're chasing the most attractive man because that guy gets all the options. So girls are starting to realize this, that that man gets options. And this is probably you. You're probably noticing this right now that they're going to fight for you more. Okay, guys. And by you pressing up on a girl and showing her like, oh, I like you. I like you. I like you. It kind of shows her that you don't have a lot of options, guys. And women want the man who has the most options because women feel special when you may have a lot of options, but yet at the end of the day, you still choose that girl because that's gonna make her feel special. Like, okay, she knows that her man is attractive. He can get a lot of women, but at the end of the day, he's coming home back to her. That's what really gets girls hooked onto a guy, okay? Because most guys, like I said, when they go out to a bar or they go out, you know, meet a girl at a gym, they, they press up on it right away, like instantly, like, oh my gosh, I'm so thirsty, I need to get that number. Like, no, you look like you're chasing, guys, you're gonna be in the chasing mindset, okay? I need you guys to get out of that mindset. We don't chase, guys. The only thing we're chasing is that bag, and that's really it, okay? Everything else in life, it comes to us naturally. We're not pushing for it. We're not gonna cry about it, okay? So guys, when you go out, the next time you go out, all right? Let's say you go out with like a group of your buddies, okay? Let's put yourself in this scenario. Guys, you're gonna notice that most of your friends are probably gonna go up and try to press up on a girl, right? Like, oh, hey, what's your name? This, this, and that, oh, cool, cool. Guys, she's gonna, she's gonna probably question you and wonder like, hey, how come this guy hasn't pressed up on me? Because 24 seven, girls are getting attention from guys all the time, right? They're getting attention in the DMs, in person, at their jobs, uh, just walking down the street, right? They're just getting attention. Okay, you got to be that guy that's different. Show her, like, I don't really care. Like, I'm not going to, you know, put you on a pedestal. Okay, girls don't want to be put on a pedestal from the guy they like. Okay, guys, so when she sees that you're not pressing up, pressing up on it, she's going to wonder, hmm, this guy's kind of different. Most most of the guys, they, they, they have to do that to prove themselves to me. But guess what? Now she's playing your game. She has to prove herself to you. We switch up the mindset now, bro. So when you're acting, guys, this is why I tell you. When you walk into a place, just do scouting. Just walk around like the club area or, you know, if you're just going, going to the gym, just focus on the workout, okay? You will notice that, you know, the girl might, you know, be eyeballing you down. She might be, you know, looking across the room, just looking directly at you, okay, guys? Because now she's realizing, okay, you're different, okay? Now you've already established that you're different from most guys, and now she kind of wants to know who you are. And guys, I'll be honest, like if a girl really likes you, she'll let it be known right away. Like she ain't here to play games. Like she will press up on you guys. Just like how we see a, a girl and like a man sees a girl and all the simps, how they press up on a girl right away. Like, oh, hey, nice to meet you, right? A girl's gonna go out and press up on a guy. Like they, they do that guys. And we actually appreciate it because we're men. We just like when a woman will actually care and actually, you know, prove herself to us guys. So they will do that. Yes, they will do that, okay? So if you are seeing that you, maybe you just walked into a club and the, and the chemistry between you and a girl, like she, she introduced herself to you. Like you weren't trying to, you, you, weren't, you didn't reach out to her. She reached out to you. Guys, that's a very good sign that she's very much interested in you. And guys, you pretty much caught it in, in the bag just like that. Off rip, off rip, off the jump. You got it in the bag like that, okay? Because she's showing you, hey, I'm interested. Girls ain't really gonna do that, guys, because girls get the options, right? Let's be honest here. Most girls are getting more options than most guys. Let's be honest. But unlike you, you're getting more options now, okay? So, guys, 
you need to realize too, just play it cool. Just be cool, calm, and relaxed, okay? Because guys, when you're pressing up on a girl, when you're like doing the most to try to get a girl, you're gonna be stuck in chasing mindset, okay? I need you guys to be stuck on abundance mindset. Like, okay, just knowing that you're gonna go out and you will attract women. Like, that's what we're about, guys. We're about, we're gonna get the attraction. I'm not pressed about it. I'm not worried about it. You kind of just know, guys, you're gonna come to a point in your life when you've leveled up to the point where you're just gonna go out and you know that girls are gonna just throw themselves at you. And you kind of know, it. Like it's, it's, it's to be expected, which is great. And you deserve it if you've put in the work into yourself, all right? You get the rewards of your labors, guys. So you're gonna notice that too. Like girls will see that about a man, okay? So guys, when you play cool, calm, and relax, it's kind of good because now you're gonna let everyone else press up on a girl, all right? Or if not, if they're too afraid to even like talk to a girl, the simps, we're talking about the simps now, like the, the, the guys that do all the chasing, those kind of guys, we're going to let them chase the girls. We're going to let, okay, we're going to let those girls get their egos boosted real quick because that's what girls need, right? They need that little ego boost when a, when a, when a clown goes up and, you know, pedestalizes her for no reason and this girl has done nothing for him. So we're going to let that happen, right? So you're going to be cool, calm, and collective in the cut. So that way, you know... Now you're already perceived as not thirsty, and now you, she sees you as, okay, now you're different. Now she's questioning you, okay? And this is kind of good too, guys, because even if you don't press upon it, like if you're just cool, calm, and collective, and a girl doesn't like you, at least you're not wasting no time or, or energy, and you're not giving her an ego boost, because that is the last thing I want you guys to do, is to actually give a woman an ego boost because you were thirsty, and you were doing the most to try to hook up with her, all right? We're not here to do that at all. We'll let... The lames do that. We ain't doing that, guys. I will never do that ever again in my life. I've done it before, all right? When I put a girl on a pedestal, not ever again, okay? This me will not do that, and I hope you guys will not do that either, okay? You need to be different, guys. Be different in the sense that you're detached from situations. Like, you could, guys, you need to be able to be cool with, with her, you know, like, it's, it's cool she's with you, and at the same time, like, you're not pressed about it either, so... It's cool if you're without her too. Like your life is always going to be going up. She needs to realize that. Okay, guys. So if you made it this far in my video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Follow my Instagram and my Twitter down below. I appreciate every single one of you brothers. I need you guys to differentiate yourself from the rest of the sheep. Because what are they doing? Once again, they're going to do all, all the chasing. And you're going to be the guy who's gonna be cool. You're gonna be the guy who she's gonna call in the middle of the night like, hey, I wanna come see you because you were cool, calm, and collective. You didn't press upon it. You just let it kinda of just naturally happen. Okay, guys, that's the best way to really get that attraction, that fire to get ignited between the both of you. I appreciate you, boys. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here.